Uh, good evening, guys. In uh, today's video, we will discuss the deep, um, different features that uh, Xero offers on invoices. So basically, how to create an invoice, how to make it recurring, uh, and how to make a payment against uh, an invoice that was issued previously. Uh, for my video today, I'm going to use the demo company. So um, the first thing is how to create a sales invoice. For that, on your dashboard, go to the tab called Accounts. Click that and under there go to sales. Once you reach the screen, you hit uh, the tab that says new. Uh, it'll open up a new window, uh, which is where we need to add the information of our customer and who we're issuing the invoice to. So for instance, my customer is called ABC Company. Uh, and the invoice date is as of today. If I just hit tab, it'll automatically pull up uh, today's date. Now, uh, due date is the date when uh, the payment is due. It's based on the terms of your invoice. Uh, so if for your company, uh, an invoice is due 10 days from the date of the invoice, a shortcut way of doing that is if you just go plus 10, it'll just add 10 days from the date of the invoice. Invoice number is a number that is automatically generated by zero. It is unique to each invoice and in future if you happen to delete or void an invoice, the invoice number will stay with that particular invoice so we cannot replicate it. Reference is a reference number that relates to your invoice. Um, in here if I can put January bill, then a description is what the invoice is for. For example, it's for a bookkeeping service one month. Quantity is if it's just uh, the number of quantities. If it's a, if it's a service industry, you know, if it's two day bookkeeping, based on how you actually uh, put your services, you will put it there. Unit price will be the cost that you're charging the client. Discount is if you're offering any discount to the client. Account is what category of account you wanna put this under. Now this is revenue. I can put it under sales and. The tax rate is automatically put in based on how you've set up your company. If it's a tax exempt income, you just select tax exempt. Uh, you can select the currency. Uh, right now the default is USD for me. And if I just hit approve, it'll save it as an invoice. And I can just, if I want to view this invoice that I've just created, what I can do is I can just go print PDF. You can mark it as sent to the client or leave as is. If I go print now, based on the template of the invoice that I have in, in zero, an invoice will be created. It will say the name of your company, the date of the invoice, invoice number, reference, and our payment terms at the bottom based on what we have put in the invoice template. Now, if I want to email this to the client, I can just directly do it from zero. I can hit this little button here that says email. Put in the email ID of your client. Since we already have a script for the email, you can select it from the drop down here or you can just manually write the script here and just hit send. What that's going to do is it'll send a copy of this invoice to the client. So you mainly don't have to uh, mail out the invoice to the client. Now, for instance, after 10 days, I receive a payment for this invoice. All I need to do is today I received it. I'll just put today's date, date paid, uh, where, where the uh, money was paid. So you can select the bank account. And you can, if it was paid by check, you can just put by check number one, two, three, four, five. If I go add payment, it will mark this invoice as failed. Now I can, uh, if you see this little view invoice here, I can just click on it and it'll show me the nil invoice, which I can then also email to my client saying, you know, here's your nil invoice. Uh, we received your payment and whatever message you want to put in there, you can just do that. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is if I want to make, if, if I offer the bookkeeping service to ABC company on a monthly basis, so I, I don't want to go, you know, and create an invoice every month. I can make this invoice a recurring invoice. So if I just 
select this invoice, go into this invoice, and if you see this invoice option, if I hit repeat, I can make it as, an, as a recurring invoice based on monthly basis. Invoice date, if I want it to be issued on the 30th of every month, due date, as we discussed, 10 days from the date of the invoice. And if I'm offering the service to the client only for a year, I can actually mark the end date. So I can mark it as Thirtieth of January, twenty fifteen, should be my last invoice, and I can save this as a draft, as an approved item, or as an approved and sent. What I would recommend is we should save it as a draft. What that'll do is, I'll show you what that does. So if I go under my sales, and if I click on this repeating items, you'll see my this invoice is sitting in a repeat item. Now on the 30th of every month, a draft invoice will be created and it'll come under drafts. So once it come under drafts, I can just select that particular invoice, make any changes I want to and send it to the client. So this is a simple and a short video to show how to create an invoice, how to mark it uh, paid, how to email it to the client and how to uh, make it recurring. Hope the video